Hoje, o GNT exibe a continuação de Igor, filho de Chernobyl. O primeiro programa conta como Igor foi encontrado e a chegada na Inglaterra. O segundo mostra como ele está lidando com as deficiências, se adaptando aos novos aparelhos locomotores, a vida na Inglaterra e o desempenho na escola. O momento mais emocionante do programa é o encontro de Igor com a médica e a enfermeira que cuidavam dele na antiga República Soviética de Pelarus. Assista agora a Igor, o menino que ousou sonhar. Igor Pavlovitz, born with only one arm and tiny stunted legs, was one of the first victims of the Chernobyl nuclear explosion of 1986. He's been in England for two years, undergoing medical treatment and the fitting of artificial limbs. Igor used to dream of having two arms and normal legs like other children. He also dreamed of having a family he could call his own. He's just part of the family. I mean, he, he gets very angry when you talk about the past and the fact that he only came two years ago. I mean, as far as he's concerned, this family was waiting for him and the past has got to be forgotten. He still has those dreams, but as he matures, he is growing aware of the huge obstacles in front of him and the ghosts in his past. Igor arrived at Heathrow from Belarus on January the 4th, 1994. He went for treatment to Queen Mary's Roehampton whose specialists fitted him with a battery-operated arm and a special pair of boots with five-inch soles. Igor's foster mother is Barbara Bennett. She loves him dearly, and he loves her. But perhaps they'll need more than her devotion and his courage to make his dreams come true. Even in 1994, it was clear that the nuclear fallout had been selected in its attack on the young boy. His top half was growing, his bottom half was not. Sooner or later, Igor's legs would be unable to bear the weight of his trunk. Igor is now eight and a half. He has started at a new school, William Cobbett Junior School in Surrey. <laughs> Igor had no education before coming to England and is behind in his learning skills. 